Hey there you and welcome to 20 German MG42s which are going to be defending against ever increasing waves of Russian and flamethrowers that are going to be charging mercilessly into their machine gun fire. Will the MG42s be able to hold out or will the Russians overwhelm them with their fiery goodness? As always, if you do enjoy this content, do leave a like and consider subscribing, as that's the best way to support the channel. Now, let's get on with the slaughter. All right then, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Here is our first wave that's going to go and charging headlong into our MGs. And yeah, okay, so at least a little squad like that is going to get absolutely mowed down. Now, these waves are going to get bigger and bigger, so the MGs are definitely going to have their work cut out for them. But as you can see, the Russians have almost little to no cover here. Wave 2 now comes crashing in once again and the MGs just start tearing them up. Oh my god, look at that. They got absolutely mowed down here. The Russians are really going to need a concerted effort by the looks of it to get through this. I wonder how many troops were actually... Oh my poor dude. I wonder how many troops were actually going to need here to be able to overwhelm this defense. That is a lot of MG power. Okay, let's have a look at it from the uh, Germans' perspective here. Oh, that is nasty. Look, they're just getting mowed down. That is a lot of concentrated firepower. Looks like they're trying to push this left wing. That might be a good one for them. Oh, we got another wave spawning in as well, just behind them. This is a concerted effort on the left flank here for the Germans. But yeah, look at that MG. It's just absolutely mowing down the troops. You can see some of the Russians there running away. Oh, I would as well with that many MGs pointing at me. Let's go have a look at that. That's a, oh my god, that floor is being torn up down there. Another wave is coming in from the centre here. Good luck, chaps. They're barely getting past the first line here. They're dropping the flames on the floor. <laughs> okay, yeah, the Russians are definitely going to need a lot of troops to get through this one. In comes wave number three or four here. And yet again, the MGs have just <laughs> opened up on them. Oh my god. Okay, so it looks like that left flank might be quite good if they push up into the bushes there. They might start being able to outflank the, uh, the German reinforcements, uh, the German uh, machine guns here. But at the moment, the rest of them just getting mowed down in our centre. Oh, another wave comes in again. The machine guns were already opening up at that time. Again, look at this. A couple of them have got, arrived to the field and just decided, nope, don't want anything to do with that. And another wave spawns right on top of them. Oh, the German guns are already sighted in on this area. But look at that on the other side. We've got another wave coming in as well. But again, the Germans are able to quickly swivel around and start pincering them with the suppressive fire here. That is so much. Look at all them bullets just ripping up. Now, don't I believe these MG uh, 30, uh, sorry, MG 42s here fire like 1,200 bullets a minute. So yeah, when we've got 20, that's like 20,000 bullets going downstream at any one point. But look at this. Okay, this is a bigger wave now of Russians that are coming in. But yeah, again, the MGs are starting to do their work. They're getting very close though this time. Look at that. Okay, so definitely having numbers on the field helps. First flames coming out. We have got fiery Germans here. The MG nest has been cleaned out on this side. That's all it takes, ladies and gentlemen. One quick burst of jets, and the MG nest was cleared out. But yeah, the rest of them now are paying up for the treachery. Another big wave coming in. They are simply just getting absolutely mowed down, though. It's that centre here, look. It looks like the uh, defences here pincer them into this one little narrow uh, channel way. And that is just devastating for them. But yeah, we need another big wave like that first one coming in. I'm amazed we've actually cleared out one MG nest so far. That's pretty damn good. The rest of the Russians trying to get off the battlefield. Oh, guys, it's not going to happen, I'm afraid. God, look at that. So many bullets coming down. Another wave coming in. For the glorious Soviet Union here. So many flamethrowers, so many bullets flying through the air. Can we get another MG desk cleared out, though? No, we're not close enough, unfortunately. Next wave coming in. More and more troops are now being pumped into it. You can tell the pressure is starting to increase. They're just not getting close enough here. Yeah, look at that. The rest of them, you don't want to stay down this area, guys. Your only chance here is to actually push up into them. Yeah, I get him. <laughs> oh my god, this is just brutal now. Come on, guys. You've got to use your bodies to get forward. <laughs> Look at him crawling across the floor here. That's not the way to go. We need another big wave like we did before. That was pretty impressive. The Russians are taking a lot of losses here. Come on, guys, fire. What are you doing? Oh, man. 
Here we go. This is a big wave. Oh my god, look at all these. So many here. The Russians charging into the MG fire. Some of them getting cut down here. But we are getting close now. There we go. The flame jets come out. Oh, that is brutality. We've just burnt out two MG nests here. You can see a couple of them trying to heal up. But then maybe this is the wave then. Maybe this is the one. That's it. Another burst of jet comes out. I think we might be clearing out. Yes, we have. We've cleared out another one. We've only got, like, what's this? Five MG nests left here now? Yeah, because that one just burnt out. There's five MG nests. Let's have a look at it from their point of view here. I mean, they did really well to hold off all that then. When the fire starts going through the air, it makes it really hard for them to see what's going on. But you can see the Russians are getting closer and closer. Another jet comes out! Oh, no! <laughs> Some fried Germans there. Another two MGs cleared out here. And now another gigantic wave comes in. Now, if we didn't hold off the last one, I think this one is going to be the finisher here. This one's definitely going to be the KO. Look at them swarming in. The Germans really struggling to deal with this. They're taking a lot of losses still there. Another jet comes out. <laughs> Look at the fire. Oh my god. There's so much flamethrower. We've set all the trees on fire. We've set everything on fire. <laughs> oh, they're really making the Germans pay. But to be fair, they lost a lot of comrades. Oh my god, we're losing loads of Russians as well. The Russians are setting themselves on fire here. All because they've set the trees on. Look at this, though. That's proper scorched earth tactics now. That entire area has just been leveled. So there we have it. The answer is overwhelming superior numbers seem to be the trick that we have here. Oh, look at that. The German defense lies in tatters, but we did lose quite a few Russians doing this. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be ending this one here. If you do enjoy this content, do leave a like and consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.